So, 10 campfire songs, done and dusted. Uh, had a little bit of a, um, a little bit of radio airplay, uh, local. Uh, they even came back to me for um, to let me know there were a few more tracks to taken off the album. Always nice to hear. Um, had some very positive comments from from people, which is nice. Uh, but that now ha has now released me to look at the next project, which I was sort of running alongside of Ten Campfire Songs until I realised that I had to concentrate on that because they're going to sound quite different. But I'll pause here for the moment. Or maybe I'll pause here for the moment. No, I'll pause here. I'm going to pause here. Seriously. Today, I'm going to talk about the next project, which will be an album I've currently titled Eloy. Now, Eloy comes from the name of one of two uh, races who appear in H.G. Wells' science fiction novel, The Time Machine. Uh, and they were the Eloy and the Morlocks. It's well worth reading if you haven't done so already. Um, briefly, though, the, it's to do with a time traveller who moves forward in time to find that people on Earth have split, evolved into two distinct races. The Eloy live above ground and are portrayed as docile, childish, vegan types while the Morlocks live below ground and are portrayed as sort of misshapen and aggressive meat-eaters. Yeah, doesn't that sound like the current narratives of a green agenda marketing? Meat bad, plants good. Anyway, um, I'll not go into the story any further in case you want to read it yourself, but uh, it's well worth reading. Now, the reason I wanted to use Eloy was really down to a, a number of factors. The first was that off the back of my releasing uh, a calmer and more acoustic 10 Campfire Songs album earlier this year, 2022, and off the back of writing it through the pandemic, along with our, well, what should we say, several CCP-inspired lockdowns, um, I knew that I wanted to write something a little less hopeful, something broken. It, was, it really did make me reflect on society and how easily manipulated whole societies can be. So yeah, 10 Campfire Songs itself was about taking yourself away from the negative and reclaiming something positive. Uh, it's the drive to recalibrate yourself, a way of improving or, re or rebuilding yourself in some way, um, because everything starts from you. you know, we can't forever be blaming things outside of ourselves. Um, taking responsibility for improvement, I guess. Now Eloy, on the other hand, is the aftermath of something broken and I wanted the music to portray a much more dystopian theme, if I can. The idea links directly to one particular song I wrote as well. I, I think I recorded it about three years ago and that song became the catalyst for this whole dystopian themed idea. Um, I can remember with tongue firmly in cheek though, I titled it Dystopian Fetish in two parts. Partly because everything available to the present cult TV and teen literature hovers around endless stories of dystopia. And for me, it's just passe, overworked tribalism. It's oversimplified, fictionalised drivel. One repeating story with a maximum of two possible outcomes. Um, yeah, it's boring. And I have to say, no wonder so many young people are over-engaging with technology and yet seem disengaged with their own culture. And particularly, I find the English, where having any national pride gets you accused of being a boot-stomping fascist. But anyway, the second reason I wanted to write about a, a dystopian, or within a dystopian landscape, was from the experience of the, these past two years of global upheaval, being able to see how easy it is to push society into an almost self-destruct mode, and enabling projects which will make us all poorer. Well, that's equity for you, I suppose, um, but that's another subject entirely. So I kept seeing one image in my head which spoke to me about this whole idea of the album, and it's an image we probably have all seen when we watch post-apocalyptic film landscapes. Um, but for me, my own little mind snapshot had a... It was an image of a beautiful deer, a stag, 
standing on top of a hill but the hill was made up of a mound of rubbish and rusted car parts so I suppose it's um, it's a bit like having nature, nature keeps going on while we steadily annihilate ourselves um, so off the back of that I created a few rough album covers based on this idea of an image and that then started to set the tone for how I might approach the music so as I mentioned before I wanted this album to sound different from the last one and my next question to myself is well how can I achieve that bearing in mind I use the same instruments same software same musicians i.e. me well for 10 campfire songs I decided that I would limit the instruments that I could use in recording along with um, limiting the time signature of the tracks I kept most of them at walking pace because it's to do with hiking but with Eloy I can make the tracks faster I'll also use uh, more ethnic type drum samples this time and I want to use distortion feedback as a harsh element to the overall sounds in fact I'd quite like the idea of some parts being non-musical and tense you know, or dark in their own right. Um, so yeah, maybe add saturation to elements that um, really do sort of make them more grinding and harsh. So I'm now establishing a set of visual art images and also getting a feel for an audio landscape. And I need to be clear that I don't want to produce a sweet positive sounding tracks or, or, or music here but I also don't want to um, to alienate or make the listener um, jar I, I still want it to be musical all in all this way of thinking has so far uh, if I remember correctly got me I think 14 separate tracks that I can use for this album um, currently I've got let's have a look yeah four or five actual songs which are pretty much complete so this is all good um, the words are just starting to come together for a few pieces and I might kiss a death here might even be in the position to release either at the end of the year or next year possibly February February would be good nothing happens in February does it um, so anyway, that that's kind of brings everything up to date. That's what I'm working on. I'll leave you with a jumble of sonic snippets I'm working on, just so it can give you a flavour of what Eloy will or might contain. So, as always, keep well, and I'll upload and unload again soon.
Some 